Sahih Muslim The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Sahih Muslim The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Adi B. Hadam reported. I said, Messenger of Allah, I set off trained dogs and they catch for me, the game. And I recite the name of Allah over it, I slaughter the game by reciting Bismillah I Allah O Akbar. Whereupon he said, when you set off your trained dogs, if you recited the name of Allah, while setting them off, then eat, the game. I said, even if they, the trained dogs, kill that, the game. He, the holy prophet, said, even if these kill, but, on the condition, that no other dog, which you did not set off, along with your dogs, participates, in catching the game. I said to him, I throw Murad, a heavy featherless blunt arrow, for hunting and killing, the game. Thereupon he said, When you throw Murad, and it pierces, then eat, but if it falls flatly, and beats the game to death, then do not eat that. Sahih Muslim 1929 Reference 34 Hadith 1 Sahih Muslim The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Adi B. Hadam reported. I asked Allah's messenger saying, We are a people who hunt with these, trained, dogs, then, what should we do? Thereupon he, the holy prophet, said, When you set of your trained dogs having recited the name of Allah, then eat what these, hounds, have caught for you, even if it, the game, is killed, provided, the hunting dog, has not eaten, any part of the game. If it has eaten, the game, then you don't eat it as I fear that it might have caught for its own self. And do not eat it if other dogs have joined your trained dogs. Sahih Muslim 1929b Reference 34 Hadith 2 Sahih Muslim The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Adi B. Hadam reported that he asked the Messenger of Allah about, hunting, with the help of an arrow having a stub end. He said, If it strikes, the game, with its point, then eat, but if it strikes flatly and it dies, that is waki, beaten into death, do not eat that. I asked the Messenger of Allah about, hunting with the help of, dogs, whereupon he said, When you send your dog, for hunting, reciting the name of Allah, then eat, the game, but if some part of it is eaten, by the dogs, then do not eat that, for it, your dog, has caught that, the game, for itself. I, again, said, if I find along with my dog another dog, and do not know which of, the dogs, has caught, the game. Then, what should I do? Thereupon he, Allah's messenger, said, then don't eat that, for you recited the name of Allah on your dog and not on the other one. Sahih Muslim 1929c Reference 34 Hadith 3 Sahih Muslim The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Adi B. Hadam reported. I asked Allah's Messenger about Murad. I. E. Hunting with the help of arrow having a stub end, and he stated the same, as we find in the previous Hadith. Sahih Muslim 1929d Reference 34 Hadith 4 Sahih Muslim The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Adi B. Hadam with a slight variation of words. Sahih Muslim 1929e Reference 34 Hadith 5 Sahih Muslim The Book of Hunting, Slaughter and what may be eaten Adi B. Hadam reported. I asked Allah's messenger about hunting the game with the help of Murad, whereupon he said, If it strikes, the game, with its point, then eat it, but if it strikes flat, that is, the game is, beaten, into death, then do not eat that. Adi further said. I asked him about hunting with the help of a dog, whereupon he said, If that, the dog, catches it, the game, for you and does not eat out of that, then you eat, the game, for dakot, slaughtering, 
of that is its being caught by it, by the dog. But if you find another dog besides it, and you fear that that dog, the second one, had caught it, the game, along with that, your dog, and killed it. Then don't eat. For you recited the name of Allah on your dog and did not recite that on the other one, which joined your dog incidentally. Sahih Muslim 1929 F Reference 34 Hadith 6 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Zachariah B. Abu Zaida with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 1929 Grams Reference 34 Hadith 7 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Shabi reported. I heard Adi B. Hadam say and he was our neighbor, and our partner and co-worker at Narain that he asked Allah's Apostle. May peace he upon him. Saying, I let off my dog and find another dog along with my dog and that. Any one of them, catches the, game. But I do not know which one had caught it, whereupon he, the Holy Prophet, said, then don't eat that, for you recited the name of Allah while letting off your dog and did not recite on the other. Sahih Muslim 1929 H Reference 34 Hadith 8 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been narrated OIF the authority of Adi B. Hadam through another chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 1929 I reference 34 Hadith 9 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Adi B. Hadam reported. Allah's Messenger, way peace be upon him, said to me, When you let off your dog, recite the name of Allah, and if it catches, game for you, and you find it alive, then slaughter it, if you find it killed and that your dog, has eaten nothing out of that, even then, you may eat it. But if you find along with your dog another dog, and the game in, dead, then don't eat, for you do not know which of the two has killed it. And if you shoot your arrow, recite the name of Allah, but if it, game, goes out of your sight for a day and you do not find on that but the mark of your arrow, then eat that it you so like, but if you find it drowned in water, then don't eat that. Sahih Muslim 1929 J Reference 34 Hadith 10 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Adi B. Hadam reported. I asked Allah's Messenger about hunting. He said. When you shoot your arrow, recite the name of Allah, and if you find it, the arrow, killed, that. Then eat, except when you find it fallen into water for in that case you do not know whether it is water that caused its death or your arrow. Sahih Muslim 1929 K Reference 34 Hadith 11 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Abu Thalaba al-Kushani reported. I came to Allah's Messenger and said, Allah's Messenger, we are in the land of the people of the book, so, we eat in their utensils, and, live, in a hunting region. Where I hunt with, the help of my bow, and hunt with my trained dog, or with my dog which is not trained. So inform me what is lawful, halal, for us out of that. He, the Holy Prophet, said, regarding what you have mentioned of the fact that you live in the land belonging to the people of the book and so you eat in their utensils, but if you can get utensils other than theirs, then don't eat in them. But if you do not find any, then wash them and eat in them. And regarding what you have mentioned about, your living, in a hunting region, what you hunt, strike, with the help of your bow, recite the name of Allah, while shooting an arrow, and then eat, and what you catch with the help of your trained dog, recite the name of Allah, while letting oil, the dog and then eat it, and what you get with Sahih Muslim 1930 a reference 34 hadith 12. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten The Help of Your Untrained Dog, If You Find It Alive, and Slaughter It, 
according to the law of the Sharia. Eat it. Sahih Muslim 1930 a reference 34 hadith 12. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Haiwa with the same chain of transmitters, but with a slight variation of words. Sahih Muslim 1930b Reference 34 Hadith 13 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Abu Thalaba reported Allah's Messenger having said this. If you shoot with your arrow and the game goes out of your sight and you find it later on, then eat that if it has not gone rotten. Sahih Muslim 1931 a Reference 34 Hadith 14 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Abu Thalaba reported Allah's Apostle as saying about one who comes three days later on the game he has shot. Eat it provided it has not gone rotten. Sahih Muslim 1931b Reference 34 Hadith 15 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Abu Thalaba al-Kushani with a slight variation of words. He, the Holy Prophet, said in regard to the game killed by a trained dog. Eat after three days provided it has not gone rotten. Sahih Muslim 1931c Reference 34 Hadith 16 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Abu Thalaba reported that Allah's Apostle, May Peace Be Upon prohibited the eating of every fanged beast of prey. Zuri added, We did not bear of it until we came to Syria. Sahih Muslim 1932 Reference 34 Hadith 17 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Abu Thalaba al-Kushani reported that Allah's Messenger prohibited the eating of all fanged beasts. Ibn Shihab said, I did not bear of this from our ulama in the Hiyas, until Abu Idris narrated that to me and he was one of the jurists of Syria. Sahih Muslim 1932b Reference 34 Hadith 18 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Abu Thalaba al-Kushani reported Allah's Messenger having prohibited the eating of all fanged beasts of prey. Sahih Muslim 1932c Reference 34 Hadith 19 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and what may be eaten this hadith has been narrated through several other chains of transmitters, but some of the chains have a slight variation of words. Sahih Muslim 1932d Reference 34 Hadith 20 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and what may be eaten Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, The eating of all fanged beasts of prey is unlawful. Sahih Muslim 1933 Reference 34 Hadith 21 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been narrated through another chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 1933b Reference 34 Hadith 22 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and what may be eaten Ibn Abbas reported that Allah's Messenger prohibited the eating of all fanged beasts of prey, and all the birds having talons. Sahih Muslim 1934 Reference 34 Hadith 23 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and what may be eaten this Hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Shuba. Sahih Muslim 1934b Reference 34 Hadith 24 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Ibn Abbas reported that Allah's Messenger forbade the eating of all the fanged beasts of prey, and of all the birds having talons. Sahih Muslim 1934c Reference 34 Hadith 25
Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Ibn Abbas through a different chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 1934d Reference 34 Hadith 26 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Habir reported. Allah's Messenger, may peace he upon him, sent us, on an expedition, and appointed Abu Ubaid our chief that we might intercept a caravan of the Quraysh and provided us with a bag of dates. And he found for us nothing besides it. Abu Ubaidah gave each of us one date, every day. I, Abu Zubair, one of the narrators, said, What did you do with that? He said, We sucked that just as a baby sucks and then drank water over that, and it sufficed us for the day until night. We beat off leaves with the help of our staffs, then drenched them with water and ate them. We then went to the coast of the sea, and there rose before us on the coast of the sea something like a big mound. We came near that and we found that it was a beast, called Al-Anbar, Spermaceta whale. Abu Ubaidah said, It is dead. He then said, No, but it does not matter, we have been sent by the Messenger of Allah in the path of Allah and you were hard pressed, on account of the scarcity of food, so you eat that. We Sahih Muslim 1935 Reference 34 Hadith 27 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and what may be eaten 300 in number stayed there for a month, until we grew bulky. He, Habir, said, I saw how we extracted pitcher after pitcher full of fat from the cavity of its eye, and sliced from it compact piece of meat equal to a bull or like a bull. Abu Ubaidah called forth thirteen men from us and he made them sit in the cavity of its eye, and he took hold of one of the ribs of its chest and made it stand and then saddled the biggest of the camels we had with us and it passed under it, the arched rib, and we provided ourselves with pieces of boiled meat, especially for use in our journey. When we came back to Medina, we went to Allah's messenger and made a mention of that to him, whereupon he said, that was a provision which Allah had brought forth for you. Is there any piece of meat, left, with you, so tnat you give to us that? He, Habir, said, we sent to Allah's messenger tome of that, a piece of meat, and he ate it. Sahih Muslim 1935 Reference 34 Hadith 27 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter and what may be eaten Habir be. Abdullah reported, Allah's messenger, may peace he upon him, sent us, on an expedition. We were three hundred riders and our chief, leader, was Ubaida B. al Jera. we were on the lookout for a caravan of the Quraysh. So we stayed on the coast for half a month, and were so much afflicted by extreme hunger that we, were obliged, to eat leaves. That is why it was called the detachment of the leaves. The ocean cast out for us an animal which was called Al-Anbar, whale. We ate of that for half of the month and rubbed its fat on our bodies, until our bodies became stout. Abu Ubaida caught hold of one of its ribs and fixed that up. He then cast a glance at the tallest man of the army and the highest of the camels, and then made him ride over that, and that tnan passed beneath it, the rib, and many a man could sit in its eye socket, and we extracted many pitchers of fat from the cavity of its eye. We had small bags containing dates with us, before finding the whale. Ubaida gave Sahih Muslim 1935b reference 34 hadith 28. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter and what may be eaten every person amongst us a handful of dates, and when the provision ran short, he then gave each one of us one date. And when that, stock, was exhausted, we felt its loss. Sahih Muslim 1935b Reference 34 Hadith 28 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, 
and what may be Ibn Amr reported on the authority of Habir that in the expedition of Kabat, leaves, a person slaughtered three camels, then three, then three, then Abu Ubaida forbade him, to do so fearing that the rides may become short. Sahih Muslim 1935 c reference 34 hadith 29. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Habir B. Abdullah reported, Allah's Apostle sent us, on an expedition, and we were three hundred in number, and we were carrying our bags of provisions around our necks. Sahih Muslim 1935d Reference 34 Hadith 30 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and what may be eaten Habir B. Abdullah reported that Allah's messenger sent on in expedition a detachment consisting of 300 persons, and appointed Abu Ubaida B. Jera as their chief. Their provisions ran short. Abu Ubaida collected their provisions in the provision bag. And he fed us, for some time. Later on when the provisions ran short he gave us one date every day. Sahih Muslim 1935 e reference 34 hadith 31. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Habir B. Abdullah reported that Allah's Messenger sent an expedition to the seacoast and I was one among them. The rest of the hadith is the same with a slight variation of wording that in the hadith transmitted on the authority of Wab B. Kaizan. The words are, the army ate out of that, the whale, for eighteen days. Sahih Muslim 1935 F Reference 34 Hadith 32 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Habir B. Abdullah reported that Allah's messenger sent an expedition to the land of the tribe of Juhaina, and appointed a person as a chief over them. Sahih Muslim 1935 grams reference 34 hadith 33. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Ali B. Abi Talib reported that Allah's Messenger forbade on the day of Kaibar temporary marriage, Muta, with women and the eating of the flesh of domestic asses. Sahih Muslim 1407 F Reference 34 Hadith 34 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Zuri through a different chain of transmitters with a slight variation of wording. Sahih Muslim 1407 Grams Reference 34 Hadith 35 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Abu Thalaba reported that Allah's Messenger prohibited the eating of the flesh of domestic asses. Sahih Muslim 1936 Reference 34 Hadith 36 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Ibn Umar reported that Allah's Messenger, way peace be upon him forbade the eating of the flesh of domestic asses. Sahih Muslim 561 c Reference 34 Hadith 37 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Ibn Umar reported that Allah's Messenger forbade the eating of the flesh of domestic asses on the day of Kaibar in spite of the fact that people needed that. Sahih Muslim 561 d Reference 34 Hadith 38 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Shabani reported, I asked Abdullah b. Abu Alpha about, the lawfulness or unlawfulness of, the flesh of the domestic asses. He said, We experienced hunger on the day of Kaibar as we were with the Messenger of Allah. We found domestic asses in the exterior of Medina. We slaughtered them and our earthen pots were boiling when the announcer of the Messenger of Allah made an announcement that the earthen pots should be turned upside down and nothing of the flesh of the domestic asses should be eaten. 
I said. What kind of prohibition is it that he, the Holy Prophet, has made? He said. We discussed it amongst ourselves. Some of us AAID that it has been declared unlawful forever, whereas others said, it has been declared unlawful since one-fifth of the booty has not been given to the treasury as is legally required. Sahih Muslim 1937 Reference 34 Hadith 39 Sahih Muslim The Book of Hunting, Slaughter and what may be eaten Sulaiman Shabini reported. I heard Abdullah B. Abu Alpha say. We were smitten with hunger during the nights of Kaibar. On the day of Kaibar, we fell upon domestic asses and we slaughtered them, and when our earthen pots boiled with them, the announcer of Allah's messenger made an announcement that the earthen pots should be turned over, and nothing should be eaten of the flesh of the domestic asses. Some of the people said that Allah's Messenger had forbidden the use of this flesh, for one-fifth, due to the state, has not been paid, while others said, he prohibited it forever. Sahih Muslim 1937 b Reference 34 Hadith 40 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Adi, he was the son of Thabit, said, I heard Al-Bara and Abdullah B. Abu Alpha say, We found domestic asses and we cooked them. Then the announcer of Allah's messenger made an announcement that the earthen pots should be turned over. Sahih Muslim 1938 Reference 34 Hadith 41 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Al-Bara said, we found on the day of Kaibar domestic asses, and the announcer of the Messenger of Allah made an announcement that the earthen pots should be turned over. Sahih Muslim 1938 b Reference 34 Hadith 42 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Bara was heard saying, We were forbidden, to eat, the flesh of the domestic asses. Sahih Muslim 1938 C Reference 34 Hadith 43 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Bara B. Azab reported. Allah's Messenger commanded us to throw away the flesh of domestic asses whether uncooked or cooked, he then never commanded us to eat that. Sahih Muslim 1938 D Reference 34 Hadith 44 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of a sim with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 1938 e Reference 34 Hadith 45 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Ibn Abbas reported. I do not know whether Allah's Messenger prohibited the eating of the domestic ass, due to the fact that they were the beasts of burden for the people, so he, the holy prophet, did not like their beasts of burden to be destroyed, as a matter of expediency, or he prohibited the use of the flesh of domestic asses, not as an expediency but as a law of the sharia, on the day of Kaibar. Sahih Muslim 1939 Reference 34 Hadith 46 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Salama B. Aqua reported. We went to Kaibar with Allah's Messenger. Then Allah granted, us, victory over them. On that very evening of the day when they had been granted victory, they lit many fires. Thereupon Allah's Messenger said, What are those fires and what for those have been lit? They said, These have been lit, for, cooking, the flesh. Thereupon he said, Of what flesh? They said, For the flesh of the domestic asses. Thereupon Allah's messenger, May peace bow upon him, said, Throw that away and break them, the earthen pots in which the fieza was being cooked. A person said, Messenger of Allah, should we throw it away and wash them, the cooking pots? He said, You may do so.
Sahih Muslim 1802c Reference 34 Hadith 47 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Yazid B. Abu Ubaid. Sahih Muslim 1802d Reference 34 Hadith 48 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Anas reported. When Allah's Messenger conquered Kaibar, we caught hold of the asses outside the village. We cooked them, their flesh. Then the announcer of Allah's Messenger made the announcement. Listen, verily Allah and His Messenger have prohibited you the eating of their flesh, for it is a loathsome evil of Satan's doing. Then the earthen pots were turned over along with what was in them, and these were brimming with flesh at that time. Sahih Muslim 1940 A Reference 34 Hadith 49 Sahih Muslim The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Anas B. Malik reported, when it was the day of Kaibar a visitor came and said, Messenger of Allah, the asses have been eaten. Then another came and said, Messenger of Allah, the asses are being destroyed. Then Allah's Messenger commanded Abu Talha to make an announcement that Allah and his Messenger have prohibited you from eating of the flesh of domestic asses, for these are loathsome or impure. He, the narrator, said, the earthen pots were turned over along with what was in them. Sahih Muslim 1940b Reference 34 Hadith 50 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Habir B. Abdullah reported that Allah's Messenger prohibited eating of the flesh of domestic asses on the day of Kaibar, and permitted the cooking of the flesh of horses. Sahih Muslim 1941 Reference 34 Hadith 51 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Habir B. Abdullah is reported to have said, We ate during the time of Kaibar the flesh of horses and of wild asses, but Allah's Messenger prohibited us to eat the flesh of domestic asses. Sahih Muslim 1941b Reference 34 Hadith 52 Sahih Muslim The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has hand transmitted on the authority of Ibn Jurai. Sahih Muslim 1941c Reference 34 Hadith 53 Sahih Muslim The Book of Hunting, Slaughter and what may be eaten asthma reported. We slaughtered a horse and ate it during the lifetime of Allah's Messenger. Sahih Muslim 1942 Reference 34 Hadith 54 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Hisham. Sahih Muslim 1942b Reference 34 Hadith 55 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Ibn Umar reported. Allah's Messenger was asked about the eating of the flesh of the lizard, whereupon he said, I am neither the eater of it nor its prohibitor. Sahih Muslim 1943 Reference 34 Hadith 56 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter and what may be eaten Ibn Umar reported. A person asked Allah's Messenger about the eating of the lizard, whereupon he said, I neither eat it, nor do I prohibit it. Sahih Muslim 1943b Reference 34 Hadith 57 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and what may be eaten Ibn Umar reported that a person asked Allah's Messenger as he was sitting on the pulpit about the eating of the lizard, whereupon he said, I neither eat it, nor do I prohibit it. Sahih Muslim 1943c Reference 34 Hadith 58 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, 
and what may be eaten this hadith has been narrated on the authority of Ubaidullah with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 1943d Reference 34 Hadith 59 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten A Hadith Pertaining to the Eating of the Lizard is transmitted from the Prophet on the authority of Ibn Umar. But in this very hadith narrated through a different chain of transmitters there is a slight variation of wording. And the words are, A lizard was brought to Allah's Messenger but he neither ate that nor declared it unlawful. And in the hadith transmitted through Usama, the words are, The man, inquirer, was standing in the mosque and Allah's Messenger was sitting on the pulpit. Sahih Muslim 1943 e Reference 34 Hadith 60 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Ibn Umar reported that there were some persons with Allah's Apostle from among his companions, Sad being one of them. There was brought to them the flesh of the lizard when a lady amongst the wives of Allah's Apostle said, It is the flesh of the lizard. Thereupon Allah's Messenger, Way peace be upon him, said, Eat, for it is lawful, but it is not my diet. Sahih Muslim 1944 Reference 34 Hadith 61 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Talbot al-Anbari reported. Al-Shabi. One of the narrators, asked me if I had heard the Hadith transmitted on the authority of Hassan from the Prophet. He said, I sat in the company of Ibn Umar for two years or a year and a half but I did not hear narrated from Allah's Apostle but this one, pertaining to the flesh of the lizard, as narrated by Mu'ad. Sahih Muslim 1944 b Reference 34 Hadith 62 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Abdullah b. Abbas reported, I and Khalid b. Walid went to the apartment of Maimuna along with Allah's messenger, and there was presented to him a roasted lizard. Allah's messenger stretched his hand towards it, whereupon some of the women who had been in the house of Maimuna said, Inform Allah's messenger what he intends to eat. Allah's messenger lifted his hand. I said, Messenger of Allah, is it forbidden? He said, Number, it is not found in the land of my people and I feel that I have no liking for it. Khalid said. I then chewed and ate it, while, Allah's messenger was looking, at me. Sahih Muslim 1945 Reference 34 Hadith 63 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Abdullah B. Abbas reported that Khalid B. Walid who is called the Sword of Allah had informed him that he visited Maimuna, the wife of Allah's Apostle, in the company of Allah's Messenger, and she was the sister of his mother, that of Khalid, and that of Ibn Abbas, and he found with her a roasted lizard which her sister Hufaida the daughter of Al-Harith had brought from Najd, and she presented that lizard to Allah's Messenger. It was rare that some food was presented to the Prophet and it was not mentioned or named. While Allah's messenger was about to stretch forth his hand towards the lizard, a woman from amongst the women present there informed the messenger of Allah what they had presented to him. They said, Messenger of Allah, it is a lizard. Allah's messenger withdrew his hand, whereupon Khalid b. Walid said, Messenger of Allah, is a lizard forbidden? There open he said, No, but it is not found in the land of my people and I feel that I have no liking for it. Khalid said. I then Sahih Muslim 1946 a reference 34 hadith 64. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Chewed and Ate It, and Allah's Messenger was looking at me and he did not forbid me to eat it. Sahih Muslim 1946 a reference 34 hadith 64. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Khalid B. Walid reported that he visited Maimuna daughter of Al-Harith with the Messenger of Allah, 
and she was the sister of his mother. She presented to Allah's messenger the flesh of a lizard which Umm Hufayd daughter of Al-Harith had brought from Najd, and she had been married to a person belonging to Banu Jafar. It was the habit of Allah's messenger not to eat anything until he knew what that was. The rest of the hadith is the same but with this. Addition, Ibn al-Assam narrated it from Maimuna and he was under her care. Sahih Muslim 1946b Reference 34 Hadith 65 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Ibn Abbas reported, while we were in the house of Maimuna there were brought to Allah's messenger two roasted lizards. Here no mention is made of Al-Assam narrating from Maimuna. Sahih Muslim 1945b Reference 34 Hadith 66 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Ibn Abbas reported that there had been brought to Allah's messenger the flesh of a lizard in Khalid B. Walid was also present there. The rest of the hadith is the same. Sahih Muslim 1945c Reference 34 Hadith 67 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Said B. Jubair reported that he heard Ibn Abbas says, The sister of my mother Umm Hufayd presented to Allah's messenger clarified butter. Ghee cheese and some lizards. He ate out of the clarified butter and cheese, but left the lizard finding no liking for it. But it was eaten on the table of Allah's messenger. Had it been forbidden, haram, it could not be eaten on the table of Allah's messenger. Sahih Muslim 1947 Reference 34 Hadith 68 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter and what may be eaten Yazid B. Al-Assam reported. A newly wedded person of Medina invited us to a wedding feast, and he served us thirteen lizards. There were those who ate it and those who abandoned it. I met Ibn Abbas the next day, and informed him, about this, in the presence of many persons. Some of them said that the Messenger of Allah had observed. I neither eat it nor forbid, anyone, from eating it nor declare it to be unlawful. Thereupon Ibn Abbas said, Sad it is what you say. Allah's apostle has not been sent, but, to declare in clear words, the lawful and the unlawful, things. We were once with Allah's messenger, may peace be. Upon him, as he was with Maimuna, and there were with him Al-Fadl b. Abbas, Khalid b. Walid and some women, also, when a tray of food containing flesh was presented to him. As Allah's apostle was about to eat that, Maimuna said, It is the flesh of the lizard. He withdrew his hand saying, That is the flesh which I never eat. But he said to them, Those who were present there. Sahih Muslim 1948 Reference 34 Hadith 69 Sahih Muslim The Book of Hunting, Slaughter and what may be eaten you may eat. Al-Fadl ate out of that, so did Khalid B. Walid, and the women. Maimuna, however, said, I do not eat anything but that which Allah's messenger eats. Sahih Muslim 1948 Reference 34 Hadith 69 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and what may be eaten Abu Zubair reported that he heard Habir B. Abdullah saying that there was presented to Allah's messenger, the flesh, of the lizard, but he refused to eat that, saying, I do not know, perhaps it, lizard, might, be one of those natives of, the distant past whose, forms, had beer, distorted. Sahih Muslim 1949 Reference 34 Hadith 70 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter and what may be eaten Abu Zubair reported. I asked Habir about ithe eating, of the lizard, whereupon he said, Don't eat that as he, the holy prophet, felt disgust. He, the narrator, said that Umar b. Al-Khattab reminded.
Allah's Apostle did not declare it to be unlawful. Allah, the Exalted and Majestic, has made it a source of benefit for more than one persons. It is a common diet of the shepherds. Had it been with me, I would have eaten that. Sahih Muslim 1950 Reference 34 Hadith 71 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Abu Sa'id reported that a person said, Messenger of Allah, we live in a land abounding in lizards, so what do you command or what verdict you give about eating of it? Thereupon he said, it was mentioned to me that a people from among Bani Israel were distorted. So there is a likelihood that those people might have been distorted in the shape of lizards. So he neither commanded us to eat that, nor forbade us. Abu Sa'id said. After some time Umar said, Allah, the exalted and majestic, has made it a source of benefit for more than one person. For it is the common diet of shepherds. Had it been with me, I would have eaten that. Allah's Messenger disliked it. Sahih Muslim 1951 Reference 34 Hadith 72 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Abu Sa'id reported that an Arab of the desert came to Allah's Messenger and said, I live in a low land abounding in lizards, and these are the common diet of my family, but he, the Holy Prophet, did not make any reply. We said to him, Repeat it, your problem, and so he repeated it, but he did not make any reply. It was repeated thrice. Then Allah's Messenger called him out at the third time, saying, O man of the desert! Verily Allah cursed or showed wrath to a tribe of Bani Israel and distorted them to beasts which move on the earth. I do not know, perhaps this, lizard, may be one of them. So I do not eat it, nor do I prohibit the eating of it. Sahih Muslim 1951 B Reference 34 Hadith 73 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Ibn Abu Alpha reported. We went on seven expeditions with Allah's Messenger and eight locusts. Sahih Muslim 1952 Reference 34 Hadith 74 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Abu Yafur with the same chain of transmitters. Abu Bakr, one of the narrators, said seven expeditions, whereas Ishaq said six, and Ibn Umar said six or seven. Sahih Muslim 1952 B Reference 34 Hadith 75 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith is narrated on the authority of Abu Yafur with the same chain of transmitters, and he mentioned seven expeditions. Sahih Muslim 1952 C Reference 34 Hadith 76 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Anas B. Malik reported. We chased a hare at Mar az Zaran, a valley near Mecca. They, my companions, ran, but felt exhausted. I also tried until I caught hold of it. I brought it to Abu Talha. He slaughtered it and sent its haunch and two hind legs to Allah's messenger through me, and he accepted them. Sahih Muslim 1953 Reference 34 Hadith 77 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Yahya with a slight change of wording. Sahih Muslim 1953 B Reference 34 Hadith 78 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Ibn Baraida reported that Abdullah B. Al Mughafal saw a person from amongst his companions throwing small pebbles, whereupon he said, Don't throw pebbles. For Allah's messenger did not like it, or he forbade flinging of pebbles since neither the game is taken thereby, nor an enemy defeated. But it may break a tooth or put out an eye. 
He, afterwards, again saw him flinging pebbles, and said to him, I inform you that the messenger of Allah did not approve or he forbade flinging of pebbles, but if I see you again flinging pebbles, I will not speak with you. Sahih Muslim 1954 Reference 34 Hadith 79 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Kamas. Sahih Muslim 1954b Reference 34 Hadith 80 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Abdullah B. Mugafal reported that Allah's Messenger prohibited throwing of pebbles. Ibn Jafar reported, in the narration transmitted by him, that he, the Holy Prophet, said, it neither inflicts defeat to the enemy nor kills the game but breaks the tooth and puts the eye out. This hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Ibn Mahdi with a slight variation of wording. Sahih Muslim 1954 C Reference 34 Hadith 81 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Said Be. Jubair reported that, a near one of Abdullah b. Mugafal threw pebbles, he prohibited him, to do so. He said that Allah's messenger had prohibited the throwing of pebbles by saying, it does not catch the game, nor does it inflict defeat on the enemy, but breaks the tooth and puts the eye out. He, the near one of Abdullah b. Mugadil, again repeated it, the act of throwing of pebbles, whereupon he said, I narrate to you that Allah's Messenger, may peace be upon Hish, disliked and prohibited throwing of pebbles, but I see you again throwing pebbles. I would therefore not speak with you. Sahih Muslim 1954 D. Reference 34 Hadith 82 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter and what may be eaten this hadith has been narrated on the authority of Ayyub with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 1954 E Reference 34 Hadith 83 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and what may be eaten shadded be. Aus said. Two are the things which I remember Allah's Messenger having said. Verily Allah has enjoined goodness to everything. So when you kill, kill in a good way and when you slaughter, slaughter in a good way. So every one of you should sharpen his knife, and let the slaughtered animal die comfortably. Sahih Muslim 1955 Reference 34 Hadith 84 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Khalid al Hadda through different chains o transmitters. Sahih Muslim 1955 b Reference 34 Hadith 85. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Hisham b. Zaid b. Anas b. Milik reported. I visited the house of al Hakam b. Ayyub along with my grandfather Anas b. Milik, and there, some people had made a henna target and were shooting arrows at her. Thereupon Asas said that Allah's messenger had forbidden tying of the animals, and making them the targets of arrows, etc. Sahih Muslim 1956 a Reference 34 Hadith 86 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter and what may be eaten this hadith has been narrated on the authority of Shuba through other chains of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 1956 b Reference 34 Hadith 87 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and what may be eaten Ibn Abbas reported Allah's Messenger having said this. Do not make anything having life as a target. Sahih Muslim 1957 Reference 34 Hadith 88 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Shuba through a different chain of transmitters. 
Sahih Muslim 1957b Reference 34 Hadith 89 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Said B. Jubair reported that Ibn Umar happened to pass by a party of men who had tied a hen and were shooting arrows at it. As soon as they saw Ibn Umar, they scattered from it. Thereupon Ibn Umar said, Who has done this? Verily Allah's Messenger has invoked curse upon him who does this. Sahih Muslim 1958 a Reference 34 Hadith 90 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter, and What May Be Eaten Said B. Jubair reported that Ibn Umar happened to pass by some young men of the Quraysh who had tied a bird, and th, is made it a target, at which they had been shooting arrows every arrow that they missed came into the possession of the owner of the bird. So no sooner did they see Ibn Umar they went away. Thereupon Ibn Umar said, Who has done this? Allah has cursed him who does this. Verily Allah's messenger invoked curse upon one who made a live thing the target, of one's marksmanship. Sahih Muslim 1958 b Reference 34 Hadith 91 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Hunting, Slaughter and what may be eaten Habir B. Abdullah reported that Allah's messenger forbade that any beast should be killed after it has been tied. Sahih Muslim 1959 Reference 34 Hadith 92